okay so in last class uh, we are discussing about the uh, time uh, timer and all and today we will discuss about uh, timer and timeout concept see set timer set timeout set timer and uh, set timeout so these are the two important functions uh, how we are going to be working with the timer and timeout so timer is basically uh, when you see some kind of application for example i want to uh, i want to repeat uh, repeat a function i want to repeat a function for every for every second i want to repeat a function for every second okay uh, then what i want to do. so we need to set a timer for that so how to work with the timer and set timeout is basically when you when you launch some kind of applications when you launch some kind of application some banking applications or irctc railway reservation applications see that applications uh, login is going to be available only for uh, 5 minutes to 10 minutes after 10 minutes automatically session out there is a concept called session out right so have you people heard about the session out time session out session out concept in web application session out concept in a web application yes sir yeah so that kind of uh, session out is going to be happening with a set time out okay so how this how this uh, set, set time out is going to be working how this uh, set timer is working we will see the a simple functionality okay so let me go and see set timer JavaScript. Start the timer JavaScript. Let me go with a simple example. Okay, so we need to write a function. We need to write a function like this, basically. <clears throat> So, yeah, what is happening with this? Let me let me copy the program. And this is basically working with Windows. Window. On top of the document, we have a window, right? So, from the window, this particular concept is going to be working. Let me open Sublime Text. And open a folder. Uh, open folder, let's draw, and 15 by 9, the folder is 15 by 9, and open the folder, select folder, let me create a new file over there, and try to write a script over there, let me create a new file, set a timeout, desktop, 15 by 9 and set timeout functionality. Set timeout dot uh, HTML. Okay, let me copy, paste the program. So, what is going to be happening with set timeout, clear timeout methods which are going to be working with a window object? So, for this, actually, five seconds we are giving. My timeout is going to be attaching. My timeout is a function which is going to be calling on on click function like this. Okay. So to stop the timeout functionality, clear timeout is a method. It is a clear timeout method. The clear timeout method is working for stop the timeout functionality. Otherwise, timeout is going to be working for five seconds. Okay. After this program launch. What is happening by on click method? On click method stop functionality is working, but automatically, automatically greeting functionality is going to be calling. Greeting functionality is going to be calling by that time. Okay, so what is happening with this? Let me open this. Open in my browser. Let me save the file. First of all, and uh, right click on this. Open in a browser. Okay, so 
if you click on stop method if you click on stop method timeout is going to be cleared out otherwise some timer functionality is going to be running in the background and within 5 seconds within 5 seconds some message is going to be coming to you happy birthday message is going to be coming to you how this happy birthday message is coming basically that happy birthday message is coming by my greeting exhibition my greeting is available for timeout my greeting is available for timeout okay i want to repeat uh, repeat the timer so to repeat the timer set timer is going to be what uh, repeat timer repeat timer javascript so you can go for that call a function for every 50 seconds if you want to go for then you need to go for the timer function and set interval sorry that is set interval not set timer that is set interval not timer interval set interval set interval function my bad actually set interval function how set interval is going to be working to you okay let me go with a sample example for that okay uh, yeah, set interval for simple thing. Can you can you go and uh, copy this? Set interval this one. Let me go and create a new file and save it as set interval. Set interval dot HTML. Let me write a script. Script is available. Okay, so self dot uh, set interval. This is going to be working. And I want to print this. And our demo. Okay, I want to print this a lot. So document dot write. Document dot write. And you can give the demo. I want to print a demo over there. Set interval function. And whatever this particular function that we need to call, uh, we need to write basically. And maybe this is not a perfect example. This is not a perfect example for that. Uh, let me go with a small another example. Okay. Okay, let me go with the random random function. And that particular function we need to call this is jQuery example. Sorry. Let me go and uh, check it here. Set interval. Small example. Yeah, this is a good one. So by this, I can able to repeat the time if you want. Every time I want to append the thing. So what is happening when you call the script, uh, set interval is calling. By this uh, set interval, uh, display hello is calling. For this display hello, I want to go for the different kind of thing. Okay. Uh, but this one is basically appending the hello message, appending the hello message for the window multiple times, for the document multiple times. Instead of doing this, what I can do is, I want to uh, move the time. If you want to move the time, let me close this function. 
let me hide the function. I want to write another function over there. Let me write a function. Function new time. Okay, so here where the date is equal to new date. New date and then new date method I'm taking and uh, I want to get only time. Time is equal to where time is equal to date dot only time is equal to D dot get time. This, why this is not calling? Uh, what is the what is the method for the time? We already written the time functions, right? D dot uh, milliseconds, okay, D dot seconds. Why this is not coming like uh, D dot seconds? Okay, D dot seconds, I want to print on the document dot write. Document dot write. D dot seconds, I want to print out. Okay, now this move type, I want to call it. For every one second. Now this time I'm calling the move time now. Set interval move time. Move time with uh, thousand milliseconds. Thousand milliseconds is one second. One minute. One second. Every one second I want to print seconds basically on top of the screen. So set interval just use to Where is the problem? Inspector, we have the issue. Console, we have 13 errors. Uh -huh. Maybe it is calling, but it is not printing properly. Can I go with uh, console.log? Okay, let me check. Still it is giving errors. Interval is not working. somewhere we have the issue no d dot get seconds huh well, this is okay. Seconds. Can I go with the milliseconds? Okay, so more time is going to be calling now. Inspection is having some issue. 
is there any problem with this? D dot millisecond. Okay, so anyway, this will work basically. I will check it out. What is the issue in this? But it is working now. Uh, display hello is there, but display hello I want to print now for the set interval. When script is calling, set interval method will call automatically. This hello message will come. Yeah, what is the issue with that? I want to check it out. Maybe this will work out. Hello is adding, but I want to see the timer change. V is equal to new. Now here equal to V dot. Milliseconds. I want to show milliseconds. What is the problem with that? Method is the problem. Get milliseconds. Let me start with the time. Get milliseconds. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Get milliseconds. That method is get milliseconds, not uh, milliseconds. So, Kamil, we already done this in VS Code. So VS code is giving intelligence. Okay, now open the browser. You can see the milliseconds. Every time it has refresh the browser. Okay, can you see milliseconds is coming? Or you want to see get seconds? Get seconds. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Can you see time is updating up? Yes, sir. Okay, milliseconds. Sir. Seconds are updating, but I want to update the uh, the date. Get milliseconds. Get hour or get date. Okay, get time. Yeah, time is better, huh? Get time. Get time. D dot get time. Yeah, okay. Let's go. D dot get time. When you want to print the time and update the seconds also, and even milliseconds also getting updated to you. Now, can you see the program now? So timeout is there at the same time. Okay, it is giving the milliseconds format. It is giving a milliseconds format. Basically. Get time is giving milliseconds format. See, whatever you want, you can just go for that. So based on the methods, get. Milliseconds. That is fine. <clears throat> I want to get milliseconds. That is only fine. Okay. So milliseconds are going to be fine. It is updating to you. See, whatever you want, you can just go for that. Or get it. You want you can see the get date. Date is going to be giving full date basically. Okay, fifteen is the date. 
See, uh, you can check it out how the things are happening with the rate methods. So here in the W3 schools, you will be you will be having different things. That is this. Get a write in local. Get a date. Date is updating with time also. Now. Date is updating with time also. Now. Get date. Now you can see answer because no. Okay, fine. Uh, no problem. You can check it out how the things are happening. Get uh, day. I'm keeping milliseconds on. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, in the previous programs, we done with the parsing process. But today, what I want to do is I will take a bigger JSON file and I want to parse that JSON into HTML. Let me take uh, and save it as JSON parse uh, multiple files, multiple records. Dot HTML. So let me keep the script and where. First of all, I want to take a JSON object. JSON object. Keyboard JSON object is equal to, I want to take a rostering of the JSON. Okay, let me go for the JSON, a bigger JSON, something like employee JSON. Example. <clears throat> A bigger JSON data will do. Okay, so this is the employee JSON raw data. Can you see? It's a bigger one. And what I want to do is I want to take the raw data. Yeah, we have three employees here. We want to take all the employees here from this and paste in the program. Inside the single quotes, we have to paste it. But the problem is, the problem is here, we need to, this, this lines will not uh, actually allow to you. So you need to write like this. Every time you need to write like this. Otherwise you cannot able to work this. So that is the why reason I want to convert JSON to text. JSON to text format. Okay, so let me go. So, JSON to text converter. JSON to text file converter. You can go for that. Online editor. Code beauty file is there. And keep your JSON data here. And uh, this is the text file what we got. Okay, no, 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 no. I want to take raw text, please. Raw text. And copy and save the file, whatever the JSON we have. No, this is not the right one. There is one good converter is here. Um, inside, um, 
There is some converter is available basically. Gas and two string. Sorry, this one. Yeah, this one. This one actually exactly we need. Gas and two string. Okay, take the complete string here and copy this and paste in your program. This will work out. Now, what my requirement where JS object is equal to? Tell me the method. JSON dot parse. Here, JSON object. Now, I want to receive the first employee record. Uh, from employees, I want to capture all the employees. How to capture all the employees? Okay, document dot write. JS object dot employees. See what is a key which is available over here. Key is employees here. So take the key and give the key. Now let me print the output. Okay, so we have three objects over there, but I want to see every object. I want to see every object and every employee data from the loop. Now I want to iterate the loop. Now I want to take each and every object in the loop. First of all, I want to iterate the, now this is array, no? What is the type of this employees? Let me show this one in the console.log also. Let me show this one. Console dot console dot log. JS object dot <clears throat> Now you can see. Uh, I can see the console dot log also. Right click on this and inspect it. You can see the console. Here we have the array. Directly we have the array. Now length of the array is three. From this length of the array, I want to show the iterate. For loop, let me write a for loop over there. Simple for loop. For where i is equal to zero, i less than, what is the array name? Just and dot employees dot length million then I plus plus. See what are the values I want to print now. I want to print a values of uh, user ID. I want to print uh, user ID, name, user ID, job title name. User ID, job title name. Only the two things I want to print. I want to print user ID. So, how to print user ID now? Document dot write JS object dot employees of I dot 
user id that is a one thing and i want to print uh, one more thing document dot write document dot write and js object dot employees uh, i dot name is there no uh, job id is there we have user id we have job title job title name i want the job title so now you can see the output of this particular program okay uh, rani development uh, yeah everything is there but i want to take a breaks here how to take breaks so this document dot write is not required now you can keep it off now you can keep a break also document dot write and give a break now you can execute see what are the different attributes we have uh, just check it out and based on the requirement you have to pass now i am parsing rani developer mirani developer okay mirani developer, mirani developer only three three employees we have okay check the object the user id Job I want to take a break here also. Take a break here also. Every time I want to take a break and take a horizontal row also. Now you can see. <clears throat> okay, three developers, uh, three developers related uh, uh, job ID, sorry, user ID I got and job title name I got. Okay, so if you want to access the first name, if you want to access the last name, if you want to access the phone number, everything you can able to uh, easily identify. Okay, in this way, you have to pass the bigger JSON. We don't know how much data is going to be coming from the APIs. That is basically completely the API you have to keep in the rostering. From the rostering, you have to pass the data. Okay, so in coming classes, I will go with the different other ways of JSON loading. That is something like a fetch and a sync. And these classes objects also will be complete in the coming single session. And immediately I will start with the ESX, CSS3, all of this. Okay. So again, we will be having class on Tuesday. There is no class on Monday. Monday we have off actually. Uh, Ganesh Chaturthi. Okay. So happy Ganesh Chaturthi to everyone. I cannot able to speak uh, much actually. My throat is pining. Completely. This fetch and async, we will go and classes, objects, method, inheritance also we will go in Tuesday session. And Wednesday onwards, I'll go through ES6, CSS3, all these things. Is it okay, guys?